Hi, today I would like to see how we can use the new version of JavaScript called the TypeScript uh, with Sublime and also with Chrome. So let's get started. So what I have done uh, till now is basically use the npm package and install TypeScript globally and the command to do that is npm i-g TypeScript. And you can also find this information if you go to typescript.lang.org. I will add the link to this so you can see in the download it tells you how to install the TypeScript. So it's pretty easy. So that's all I've done till now. Uh, to add the package TypeScript to Sublime, all you have to do is uh, go into the package control here. Package control and I'm, uh, you can say install package and you can search for TypeScript. and uh, you can just install that. The reason it's not showing up for me because I've already had that installed uh, but um, you can just find this package called TypeScript and install it for type, uh, install it for Sublime. So let's get started. So basically I have an index.html which includes an app.js and that's all it does and I don't really have an app.js because we will use a transpiler for TypeScript to generate that. So if you look at my read instructions, we have followed step two, one and two. And the third step is what we are going to try. So to do that, what we want to do is uh, transpile uh, a TypeScript file and uh, to ES5, ECMAScript 5, and also generate a source map so we can see it being debugged in Chrome. So let me get some uh, TypeScript code. You can just go to typescript.lang tutorial and you can find some relevant code. And I'm just going to copy this code in here into my TypeScript file. And basically what you will see it is doing is it is setting the inner HTML to whatever is being returned from this uh, greeter uh, class. So that's my uh, sample TypeScript code. And now let's uh, see if we can transpile it. To transpile it, I need to run this command and I'm going to do that. Okay, so let me just go to the TypeScript directory where I have that code and I'm going to run that command and you will see that when I run that command it is going to create the JavaScript file which is what gets included in our program and also a map file uh, which is useful when you are debugging it. So once I have done all of that, let's see how I can use it in Chrome. So I'm going to exit from here one level up and start my local uh, file server and uh, once I do that uh, I can go in and select it and let me just uh, get through the debugger for a second here so you can see that the the main body HTML got changed to the default and here you can see that I'm able to debug the actual TypeScript and not just the JavaScript and if you look at my index.html it still includes app.js and uh, let me just uh, reload this so I can show you how to look at it. So person.first name you can see is Jane. So our Chrome can understand this and you can actually debug this in uh, TypeScript itself. And if you want to see the sublime uh, information as to how it is uh, finding all that TypeScript uh, types you can see here you can find personal name last name so basically to get started with TypeScript and Chrome and all that you only need three things you need to install TypeScript uh, you can use the sublime uh, editor by installing this TypeScript package so to you get uh, the completions and then you can just transpile your trans uh, TypeScript file so it can generate a JavaScript file and a map file and then you are basically ready to go Thank you for taking the short time to watch this screencast.